hello guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i just wanted to show you guys what was on my vanity i think i kind of did this in the beginning of one of my videos but it wasn't supposed to be like a vanity one this one is going to be a what's on my vanity so we are just going to get started um my vanity i don't know if i've told you guys that it's really really long i would say probably like a good seven eight nine feet something like that but this was actually a headboard um in my bedroom and it was too long for our bedroom so we took it off now as i really liked this glossiness so um this was like a natural glossy color and i had it on here for so long and then i was making it really dirty so then we bought this little marble contact paper but this table so long that the car, the contact paper didn't fit so i just left the ends like that and i kind of think it looks cool like that so i'm just gonna leave it i could buy another roll and like put it on top but i'm leaving it like this so here in the corner let me see if i go back a little bit you can get a better view um i just have this pink spinny tower i think it's from the brand zara beauty and it holds a lot of lipsticks um and then i keep some really cute lime crying ones up there because they have little unicorns on there and they have a little cute unicorn um lip balm there i have this mug that was made for me and i just stuck the purple unicorn in the cup since these are purple and it's like a little unicorn theme then here i have this it's like a pedestal I got around Christmas time and it does turn on. I don't ever usually do it, but it's like, um, there you go. It like throws up, like it's supposed to look like snow and stuff. It's like a candle pedestal, but I just put it at the end of my vanity because it's really cute. And I just put this super cute brush holder on there that um glitter madness on instagram made and i love it because it's so sparkly and it has this tutu on there and i have cute brushes in there and then i have another cute brush holder that says i like i love pretty things which i do and then i have the cutest like fluffiest pretty brushes in that cup so that's like my corner um these are here because they're not my shade and I'm sending these to one of my friends. So those are there for that. Um, then I keep this little acrylic holder organizer here. Um, this is some of my like pretties in my collection and stuff that I use a lot. I love the Too Faced blushes. I love the Fenty Beauty packaging. So I have some highlighters there. I really like this MAC highlighter from the i think it's the snow snow globe collection snow some collection but i really like that and then my milani baked blushes are like my favorite so i keep those up there because i use them a lot i really like the way this marble brush holder look kind of matches my marble contact paper so i keep that there and these are like the marble brush set from bh cosmetics and i really like this mariah carey mac kabuki brush it's so sparkly and so glittery so i keep that just sitting there um and then i just have a little locket that um it's rose gold and it looks pretty it's like a lock and a key and it was on a pixie package um then here this little marble thing i thought looked really cute there too so this is actual an actual candle holder um, I'm sorry, not candle holder, the lid to a candle that I bought from Bath and Body Works. So I just took the lid and kept it. I love my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This was holiday special packaging and I like the way it looks on my vanity. So I keep that there and this I just have sitting on top. It's a primer that was in my shop, my stash from a couple of weeks ago. And I, if I lay it down, I can't get everything out. So I'm just sitting this here. So that I can use it in the mornings. Then back here I have um, one, two, three different Muji drawers stacked. Um, I ordered these from the Muji website. 
and they're like one two three four they come with five the ones that i order five so i have two stacked so i have 10 and then this one was a new one that i just ordered the pockets are the drawers are a little bit deeper and this is also on muji so i have that one so i have three different sets just stacked and then on top i have these super cute brush holders that were from target my brushes are dusty up here um those were in the target school supply out i think they're called paper clip hold cups um but i use them as brush holders and i just have my mark jacobs pretties here because i like the packaging this is the coconut primer that i'm almost done with and i will probably not repurchase because i think it's very similar to the Too faced primer and i get a lot more product i think in the Too faced and it's a couple of dollars cheaper and then these are just the highlighters um this is a cute little Ciate mini bronzer and I just like the packaging. This is super small. My bronzer brush would never fit in here. So I like to use this if I was going to um, like use a pretty bronzer color in my crease. So that's what I keep that there for. Um, Let's see. This shouldn't be here. This is face wash, but when it came in the mail, I have so many open right now that it's not going in my bathroom anytime soon, so I never put it away. But that's just the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. I love the Tiffany colored packaging, so I just leave it on my vanity until I need it in the bathroom. Um, This is another brush holder I have with some of my favorite morphe brushes this is like their rose gold collection so all the ferrules are rose gold and you guys will see most of my brushes on my vanity are dirty i need to clean them then here i have this little sephora reward tray and i just keep my kkw contour sticks which i still have not tried um and i keep the little sponges i like the packaging of that the like nudish pink i think it's so pretty um, I have this little mini uh, Hula Quickie Contour Stick. And since these are like contour kits and there's a little contour stick, I thought, and it fit perfectly. So I'm like, that goes there. Then I have this little glass. This is actually a candle holder. And I use it if I want to do some foundation mixing and make my own little concoction so um i think i saw that like was it desi perkins here on youtube who uses something like this and this is only a dollar so instead of me buying one of those fancy um like glass you know how they have it with the little holes everywhere so you can mix different things i'm like this is a dollar and it, it gets the job done it's glass it cleans up easily so I keep that there on my vanity in case I want to make some concoctions and I actually just keep my Tatcha Silk Canvas primer here because I love the packaging and it's a really good primer. I use it a lot. Um, I never use the little scoopy thing that came with it so I just keep it underneath. Um, this is the Tarte Marugia C Bright brighter eye treatment i got this as a sephora reward i think and i put it here so that in the mornings when i'm doing my makeup i could put this on so that my under eyes will look better but i never remember to use it i need to get better with that then i have a few organizers going straight across and um i just keep like my cover effects custom enhancer like the highlighting drops in here i think one of these is the glitter drops i think i have the makeup revolution um dupe for it in here i have a kevin aquan beauty oil i have this oil that i use i actually use this three times this week i love this stuff this is my second bottle this is the lc the glow enhancer a dry face oil I have been mixing this in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation because lately I've been liking a lighter and a dewier foundation. And um, this week, the Tarte Foundation is in my rotation. And the first day I put it on, I was like, whoa, that's thick. So I pulled this out and I added a couple of drops. And I've been back to loving it and like 
happy that I had a second bottle and remembering how much I loved it. So back to being hooked on this. Um, I The only place that I know that it's available is on the Elsie website. Um, and I found this brand through Instagram. So, And actually that's the primer that I have that I'm trying to finish up too, which I really, really like too. So I will definitely be buying that primer again. It's very pricey actually for a primer, but it, it like works really, really good. So, um, I have my first Sollies here, which I don't use enough. Um, I, I try, I don't really like the way these look here because they're not in a compartment. I stuck them here so that I would use them and it's not working. So I don't know what I got to do to make myself use them, but um, and then I got this as a Sephora reward. Also, it's the Glam Glow Star Potion Liquid Charcoal Clarifying Oil. Didn't know how to use this, but one of the girls I follow on Instagram says she uses it as like a primer, like before her makeup. And I was going to give that a try. Something else that I have not done yet. Um, then I just keep some lipsticks by Dalton. I love the packaging of this Yves Saint Laurent. You guys can see the dust on the top of these lipsticks that's how long they've been here i need to clean my vanity if you guys see how much makeup i have in here you understand why i don't get around to cleaning it all but i have some lipsticks in there and then back there i just have a brush holder i have a brush holder on top of all of those like all the way across and so that's kind of like what it looks like um, I have this other Sephora reward that I just got this one recently. It's the same little pattern as that little tray. And I just stuck all these little mini Max strobe creams and little items that I want to try and use up. Something else that hasn't been happening because I'm doing shop my stash. So I'm supposed to be using what I pulled out. So it's hard for me to use other stuff, but I got this eyeshadow palette recently and I love this little gold butterfly and this pink and gold is so pretty together I love this so I just have it here um, and a reminder to use it then in the next so that was one little organizer this little organizer I got from Amazon it was really cheap probably $15 or something um, and then I got this one from Target, I think for $5 and it's pink. That one's clear. And then the one next to it is also clear. My Target only had one pink cause I would have bought two more to replace those out. But, and I'm sorry if you guys hear a noise in the background, my cat is down here playing with bubble stuff. <laughs> um, so anyway, here in this pink one, I just keep some really pretty compacts. Let me mold this on top. Um, I have some, what is that guy? These are the Too Faced from the Tutti Fruity collection. I have that one that's like the apricot and then I have the strawberry and then I have the like bronzer, the pineapple bronzer duo. And this is a YSL bronzer. I just like that it was gold and these had gold packaging on them. And then I have a highlighter here that's really, really good from Persona Cosmetics. It's like such an underrated highlighter. I love it. And then I absolutely love the Dose of Colors blush like you mint it collection because obviously it's like the prettiest mint packaging um those are some blushes and i love both shades one's a pretty pink and one's a coral so they were really pretty colors so i keep those in there and i just because this was like a pretty mint i just keep my water cream there and then recently I had picked up this also from the Dose of Colors Mint Collection. I picked up this um, duo. It has like loose powder, loose pigment, pigment in the bottom. And then the top is like actual primer to apply it. And I just thought this was super cute. So I just put it over here with that collection. And 
that is not sitting the way I had it. Okay, there you go. So that's what I have in that little part of the compartment. Then here I just have really cute YSL lipsticks. I love the packaging of the YSL. And I just tried to alternate gold, silver, gold, silver. Here I have some newer ColourPop lipsticks. This is their Velvet Luxe. I'm sorry, the Velvet Blur lipsticks. And I am I was testing that formula and I really liked it. So I decided to keep them up here on top of my vanity so I can keep using them. I just got this lipstick from YSL. And I don't know what I'm going to do because this is the cutest packaging. But this only holds four. So I don't know if I should replace one. But look at how cute. It has like... Hearts, bow and arrows and hearts kind of so I want to put this here but if I replace one of the silvers then it's going to be off because it's like gold 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 silver and then if I take one of the golds out that one doesn't have hearts so I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy yet so um then I also just picked up the Dosa Colors Mickey collection it's on sale right now I don't know if it's still in stock when I post this but these were originally like $17 and they're on sale for $8.50, I think. I think there's three glosses and three lipsticks. I picked two and two because the other two colors are like a deep burgundy, which I won't really wear. So I got like the cool nude, the regular nude, and like this pretty gold shimmering gloss. So love the Mickey packaging. So I just took out my Mariah Carey MAC glitter lipsticks that were up there, or lip glosses. Um, I like that packaging, but I wanted to change it up a little, so I put those there. So that's that section, and then, like I said, there's just brushes on top. And then, hey guys, um, next we have one more little section, and here, same thing. I have cute Too Faced stuff. So I have my peach blur, I have the candy johnson, like the banana setting powder, I have the sweetie pie bronzer, and then I have the unicorn, like life is a festival. Um, These I don't wear because one's like a rainbow highlighter, and I'm not going to wear that. I do use the bronzer though. And then I have this cute little rubber ducky just sitting on there. I got this from Saturday Skin and I like it because it's pink so I just keep him up there. And then I have some Too Faced lipsticks. I like the packaging of these. And I really like this formula. They're very, very creamy. So I have those. I think my favorite is Birthday Suit. Um, that one's Strip Search. I like that color too. And then I have Cuties. I have the MAC Nico Panda collection up here. I have these. Um, this unicorn is a lip smacker. And this was a lipstick that I got from a Korean website that I can't remember the name right now. But it's a lipstick and I thought the little panda was super cute. Um, this is a sugar pill lipstick. I like the little packaging and it's pink and glittery. And that is the sugar pill lip liquid lipstick in the shade Trinket that was like super popular a while back. And then I like this oil. I put this here so that I can use it. It's very nourishing on my lips. It's by Zoella Beauty. It's available at Ulta. But this is really, really good. Like I, This is my second one of these also. I love putting lip oil on when I'm home and actually have some on now. I, don't, well, I guess you can't see because the camera's in a way. But you can kind of see. But... um. Oh, I moved this a while ago, I think when it was like over here. I posted about this in my Instagram stories. I have this on my vanity so that I can use it up. This expires in March of 2019. Today is the last day of February that I'm filming this. I don't know if I'm uploading it today, but I have an entire month to use this up. I was posting about this to show you guys the little trick that I do when I open something um that I know I'm not going to use so often and it's going to sit around for a while I like to put the date on there so that I can know especially face masks this is something that's going to sit on your face for like 10-15 minutes you don't want some expired products sitting because you'll definitely break out or have a reaction so 
when I bought this, I decided to write the date, the month. I didn't like go like March 12th. I just wrote the month we were in and the year. And the back of most beauty products will tell you how long it, it's good for. And it says it's good for 36 months, which is three years. Um, when I first started my like beauty page on Instagram, which is probably about a good five or six years now, I didn't know what this meant. So hopefully a few of you will learn something today's video, but that's what that, that little, um, image with the 36 M a lot of stuff will say six M for six months, 12 M is a year and so forth. So these last for three years. So, um, we are in 2019 now, so I need to use this up. So I have this on my vanity so I can use it. Um, I've used it twice since I put it here. And it's funny because it's mint and lemon clay. And it literally is the color mint, which I'm obsessed with that color. Um, so it looks really pretty on too. So I'm probably going to use it tomorrow because it says you can use it up to two times a week. So tomorrow will be a good day for me to use it. And moving on, let's see. This is just the Bath and Body Works candle that I cleaned out. And I just have some Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton um, lip, lipsticks in here. And one of these is a gloss. Two of these are from, I think, Amazon or eBay. I think it's these two that are like an imitation. Um, but these three are the lipsticks that I have. And then this is the gloss that I have. I think you can tell in the packaging that they're a little bit different. I don't know, but I definitely know which one I purchased. I bought the, the middle one and the other two are like little dupes for it that I wanted to, to see if they were really good dupes, but... I don't think I even use them. So I just keep them in here. I like the way they look on my vanity. They look kind of fancy just sitting there. Um, I just have a gold candle holder there. Um, and it's just propping up this pretty unicorn mug. Also from Glitter Madness on Instagram. She's the one who did that little brush holder with the Thule. And I have this cute It Cosmetics metallic pink kabuki brush that my husband got me for christmas it was a stocking stuffer um i have some random brushes in here i have a bath and body works plug in here um keeps my room smelling good i have another brush holder from glitter madness this is one of my very first ones i got this like maybe five or six years ago from her um and these are some of my most used morphe brushes it's from their um I think it's the Elite Collection. Everything starts with an E. Like the E41. It's their Elite. I just love the bristles. They're like... You see how they're kind of like reddish brown up here. And then they go to this color. I love those. Um, all the brushes in this collection. I actually broke one this morning. And I was really sad about it. It's my favorite one. I'm going to have to order another one. But I just stuck it back in the cup. This is their E3, and I use this to set my entire face, and it popped off. I mean, I guess I could put some crazy glue in there, but, I mean, Morphe brushes are so affordable. And I'm not an affiliate, but there's so many people out there who have affiliate codes, so you can even use another 10%. Um, I usually use um, Jack Attack, which is Jaclyn Hills, honestly. Um, but... I am going to be getting another one of these because it's like the softest brush and it sets my face so good. Um, it fell on the floor this morning. I was like pouncing my face and then it came out. So that's probably what all this stuff is coming out because my cat saw it fall and he was like rolling around the room. So I just stuck it back in there. Um, I have a lippy just hanging out by itself. Um, this came in a boxy charm a few months ago. It's a pretty vulgar uh, liquid lipstick it's kind of like a pinkish metallic color and I really like this rose packaging on the lid so I just stuck it there and I don't have any other pretty vulgar lipsticks in my collection so it needs to be by itself uh, my husband got me this Kate Spade 
perfume for Christmas and I love the bottle so I just have it there this is just a rose gold lid from a Bath and Body Works candle um I have this thing that I got at TJ Maxx to just put your beauty blender in there and it was rose gold so I just used a rose gold lid to like make it look fancier this is the sponge I used this morning and I usually use my sponges two times I don't know if that's bad or not but um I used it today for the first time so in the morning I wet it and I use it a second time so um that's what I do I don't get a lot of breakout so I'm okay with doing that but um when I'm done using it in the mornings I put it there to dry so um usually before I go to bed I take it to the bathroom so that it's near the sink so that um I can wet it and then I walk down to my beauty room in the morning so now we're getting to the other end of my vanity and I'm gonna speed up a little bit because we're I'm taking a long time I'm talking a lot I got this cute pink succulent from Walgreens from like their Valentine's Day stuff it was $7.99 and I just love how big it is and how pretty and I love the pink um and it matches my Amazon fan that I got which I am obsessed with this thing you guys um I have been using it every day since I ordered it it comes off the base it's just magnetic so you can just dry your setting spray then just prop it back right over there in the corner it's my favorite and I think it was less than $15 um I also got this cute little um, unicorn trinket tray from Walgreens when I got the succulent and I think this was six this was oh there's no price on here I believe it was like $6.99 or $7.99 and I love it so I keep that there and I just have this cute um, little unicorn lip balm there my husband got me this um, recently was it it was for Valentine's Day it's this little like it's just a light ambient lighting I think it was um and I thought it was cute it is battery operated so I don't know how long that's gonna last I just turned it on when we started filming but um that's what I have there and then as you can see the end of my vanity is just like the other end like the paper ran out and I just keep the glossy wood color um I have a bunch of emojis over here so I have a one and a two stacked and then I have another one stacked here um this is another two set and this is where I keep all of my lipsticks at um I'm not gonna open each drawer and show you guys but I love the way the Katy Perry ones look with the little kitty there I have some Too Faced some more Too Faced more Too Faced this is Ofra this is Gerard Cosmetics I have some Chanel, not Chanel, Marc Jacobs and YSL glosses down here. Um, then over here, I have some foundation sticks from Makeup Revolution. I have more glosses. These are all Morphe liquid lipsticks. These are the Maybelline Super Stays and a few more Morphe's that didn't fit up here. Um, more Morphe products. Nope, Dose of Colors. Um then i then they start turning random i know this drawer is like nyx but the other drawers are kind of a half and half i put that little black thing to prop it up a little because i kept i couldn't get to the bottom drawer without disturbing this stuff so i propped it up and now i can um i keep one of my favorite primers on my vanity this is the bobby brown face base vitamin enriched and i use this a lot um i discovered this from watching Jeffree Star's videos and it's really good I have another little trinket tray and I keep just like my other one had the KKW contour sticks this one has the makeup revolution contour sticks and the little brush and these are some NYX sticks so I keep those there um, these are the cutest little empty jars that one of my friends sent me um, pink crystal 18 on Instagram and I haven't filled them up. You can put whatever you want in there. But they're very cute and look fancy in my vanity. So I have that there. I have some rose gold tweezers here. I have some 
pretty pink house of lashes tweezers and pink house of lashes scissors i have a little baby stila magnificent eyes and a baby fenty lip lipstick there they all look cute i just got this in from i think it was ulta they sent me this maybelline are you gonna focus maybelline master precise precise all day liquid liner and i put it on the other day when i got it and i liked it a lot so i just put it here so i can remind myself to use it then i have a mirror here um it's one of those where you hit the switch in the back and then you press this and it lights up and i just keep like a lip scrub there a lip mask by best damn beauty that's nicole guerrero's brand i have my mac um if i can get it my mac soft ochre um you know eye, eyeshadow primer then i have this pretty vulgar um what do we call this the ink it's a gel eyeliner i like the packaging but i don't really use it um back there i have my fenty gloss bombs i have the makeup revolution dupes kind of and then i have that sephora gloss that is so good and then I just have, at the very end, I have a little black organizer. And I just keep all my lip liners. Well, they're not all because going up my wall, I have like corner shelves going up. Um, I have some cups back there with more lip liners, eyeliners, etc. But these are like my MAC and LA Girl and like the ones I use the most, Pop Beauty. So that's what's there. And then on top of my Muji drawers over here, um, I have my Tatcha water cream. These are like, I love the packaging, so I have them here. But those are like the 100 point rewards, the itty bitty ones. This one was in a little set around the holidays. I have my Dewy Luminous setting spray back there. I have my two fancy primers, the Guerlain, which I have not used yet with the gold flakes, and my two Clash Yeah, I can't say that. Hold on. Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I love, love, love this primer. Um, try not to use it all. It's really, really good. And I do have a little tiny sample of this Guerlain. I don't know if I use it. It looks like it's used, but I if I did, I don't remember if I like it. But I know I love the YSL one. And because those were like gold, I put my fancy gold bullets from Gerard Cosmetics here. I love Gerard lipsticks um, a lot. And then they had the rose gold bullets, so I just stuck those in the back. And then I have this little organizer by Sony sunny s-o-n-n-y sunny cosmetics and it's like clear but it has this rose gold rim and if you guys saw my shop miss a haul you saw i got a bunch of these lip glosses so i just moved whatever was in here and put those up here because i like this pink lid and i want to use these i keep my Too Faced um sweethearts bronzer here because it's one of my favorite bronzers it's a sweetheart in the shade sweet tea is what it is it's like a baked and it's very luminous i love it and i keep some of these juicy lancome juicy shakers in here these are the matte ones i really like them and i have two of the chocolate l'oreal infallible lipsticks liquid lipsticks back here because it's the only two i have and they just fit there and i'm not gonna go over like everything that's on these shelves because it's not a part of my vanity but um that is everything basically that is on my vanity i'm gonna see if i can step back a little bit so that you guys can see my entire vanity and that is what it looks like it's clean at the moment it's and by clean i mean clutter free but it's definitely not dusted so um that's my little vanity tour i have been 
asking my husband I would love to have like a pull out drawer here so I can put my everyday makeup in and then I would probably clear a lot more stuff on my vanity but I do have these two drawers from Michaels underneath these aren't the Ikea drawers these are from Michaels I have those underneath and I do keep the top one as my everyday little this is what you guys see in my shop my stash so but I would love to figure out how to get a shelf up here but anyway that's um today's video i hope you guys liked it if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me some comments let's chat below and i will talk to you guys on the next one bye